Hey guys, it's your girl Ty B. And today, what me and my husband are going to bring to you is how to replace your blades on your riding lawnmower. Now, the version of the lawnmower we're going to do it on is a Craftsman Z550. We could not find a video on it, so guess what? We're going to make our own. So, I just want to say, if you are already following your girl Ty B, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are not, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get new content. All right, guys, here we go. Stay tuned. Hey, guys, so first thing is first. What you're gonna do is you want to lower your blade down to the lowest level. Okay. What we're going to do is you're gonna disconnect the spark plug wire from your spark plug. If you have more than one, you'll do that at that time. If not, just the one. Next step in this is to remove this lid that is on the pulleys, okay? Now, right now, we are using a size 10 socket wrench. If you do not have that, you can also use a 3 8 wrench as well, okay? Now we have that one off. We actually have two that we have to remove, one on the right side and one on the side with a bagger or throw it. The obstacle will be to remove this belt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this and I'm gonna pull this off to loosen that belt. Here we go. Might be. There we go, and it's off. Okay. And then we'll try to get it from the other we're going side. to do, now that we have the belt off, we are going to remove the two pulleys, okay? That one and the one right behind it. Sorry, there we go. And so we can take the belt off completely and then that way we will be able to slide this portion that houses the three blades. Be back. So now that we have the belt off, Okay, off of the pulley assembly here. What we had to do was on this pulley here, there was a bracket over that was holding the belt in place. So we took that off to slip the belt out so we could slide the housing unit for the blades out. Next, we are going to take these clamps out it was already in there and you just slip it out. And we'll of course show you how to put it back in, but you have one on each side. And then we're gonna slide that pin out there so that we can move this bracket off on each side to slide the blade housing unit out. Take a nice clamp out. Then you have to loosen the screw on top so that you can slide the pin out with ease. After that, then we can move this bar up and release and slide out the housing unit. Once the pins are out, you can lift your lever up. This is free. And now what we're gonna do is slide it out so we can get up under it to change the blade. While trying to slide out, we found there was another bolt or pin in the front. So make sure you same clip, clip it off and take the pin out. Now you can slide this puppy out nice and smooth. Now just flip this part over. I'm gonna help. Well, I guess not. Just flip it over. So now that your blades are visible, we're just gonna take 
the screws off and replace the blade. As you can see, our blades are bent and broken. See, got a lot of rocks, but we are going to replace those with those. Ha ha! Stay tuned, hey guys. So now we're taking out the blades. You want to make sure you have something, whether it's another wrench or a piece of wood, to stop the blade from spinning. And then we're using an impact wrench. Um, this is the socket is a number 24. And this is a Ryobi 18 bolt. And it works great. Now that we have the three blades off, we are about to put the replacement blades on there. And as you can see, we went to Ace Hardware and they had plenty of these in stock. They didn't have any at Lowe's. Um, so we went to Ace Hardware. And as you can see, easy peasy and just scroll back on with your impact wrench. Now that we have replaced all three blades, now we are going to flip this piece over, place it back under the, lawn, the riding lawnmower, and put the pulleys and the locks back in place. Now that we have it back over, we are gonna Slide it in and do everything backwards. Okay, guys, just make sure that you put your pulley back on um, the correct way. You should have a picture on the front of it. What we had to do was take a picture of it and turn it around because it was a little confusing doing it backwards. So as you know, this is the one that goes to the back and we're gonna keep this side off because remember this is the one we took off so that we could move this bottom piece. So now we're gonna mm -hmm. reverse. We took that bar off last, so we put that front bar back onto the front of where the blades are. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to lower the level back down so we can put these hook those back onto this bar okay once we have that bar secure on there and put our um yeah once we put that down okay and secure this nut or this bolt right here back into that place our pin in and then the secure pin that goes in there as well. As you can see, we have this side in, we put the pin back in, and now we are going to secure it with this pin, and then we are going to tighten down this bolt so that it touches the pin like it was before we took it off. Hey guys, so now we're at the part putting the pulley on. This part is a little daunting, but trust me, you can get through it. Just make sure that you take a picture of that picture that shows you how the pulley is supposed to go. Make sure when putting the pulley back on, the pulleys that are on the outside, make sure the belt where it's angled is facing in towards the pulley. And the ones that are in the middle, the flat side will be facing those pulleys. So when you put it on, it will fit just right. Please, please, please don't forget there is a pulley in the back that also has to be connected. Okay? So if you forget that pulley or if you put the belt on incorrectly, it will pop off. As you will see, that will happen in our video. 
It took us a couple of tries before we got it right. But I'm telling you, you will be able to do it. Me and my husband are not professionals. Once you get your pulley on, place the covers back over. And then we're going to start it up and see if it's working. Which it should. Hey guys, Ty B here. I just wanted to let you know the reason why we switched our blades on our Craftman Z. 550 is because when we were cutting the grass, our bag, the grass was not getting in the bags. Well, once we changed the blades, it worked perfectly. The uh, lawnmower was working as if it was brand new, okay? Sorry I did not get to get a video of that at the end because it was late, um, when we ended up getting finished, if we had we bought the impact uh, drill, excuse me, we bought the impact wrench um, while we were filming because all we had were hand tools and the impact wrench we already had. We did not have a charger for our battery, so we ended up going to buy another one. That's why it was late. That's why I didn't get the ending video. However, I hope that this video helps you. If you are trying to change your blades on your Craftman Z550, hey, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit like, comment below the video, and hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get new content as it is put out. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you as always. Peace. Mm -hmm.